Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you what is eating my potato plants. Alright guys, I have here two rows of potatoes. Uh, a little over half of them, these here are uh, red skin potatoes and they're actually doing pretty good they the plant itself is greener uh, than my other variety is a white potato more like a russet type potato which is right here right where these stakes are here um, they're not doing so well so anyways and as you know uh, when plants aren't doing well the bugs start attacking it so my red skins are doing pretty good and I barely have to worry about those but these I'm constantly on them now if you look right here you see that where is it this guy right here if I can get the camera to focus maybe it'll focus on my finger that is a larva from a uh, Colorado potato beetle. I think it's just a focus here. Hang on. There he is, right there. Now this is a Colorado potato beetle here. Uh, it's got uh, these stripes on it. Now this will lay a uh, small larva underneath the underside of the leaf, and they're yellow. And the little larva, they look like this. Now, uh, these can easily be crushed, and if you don't crush them, they'll turn into these little guys, and they'll just start munching away at the leaf, and they'll devastate your entire plant. Okay, so now I want to show you how I use a solution of neem oil and soap in a pump sprayer uh, to control these pests. Alright guys, now I'm going to mix the solution. Now, I'd follow the directions on, on the bottle here. Um, this stuff here is, uh, I bought it on Amazon, I think. Just do a Google search. You can find the, the place where you can get it the cheapest. This is a 16 ounce container. Uh, I paid uh, roughly 27 bucks for it, I think. Uh, it's a little pricey, but you know, it works. Uh, it's called Neem Pro. Uh, I got nothing to do with this company. Uh, the reason why I bought it, because it says here first cold press um, so when they press this plant or the tree or whatever the leaves um, the very first stuff the oil that comes out is what they use in here and this in fact this stuff is not liquidy it's, it's actually very creamy um, but that's what it looks like right there okay neem pro 100 percent it says uh, and they're actually out of uh, Sherman Texas which is cool but anyways, um, and it is OMRI listed uh, for organic gardening. Um, so if you do get neem oil, make sure it's first cold press. Just like an olive oil, um, the very first stuff that comes out of the olives, that's the very finest olive oil right there. And that's what you should, that's what you should always buy when you buy olive oil, is first cold press. Don't, any, if it doesn't say first cold press, it's junk. Don't even bother with it. Uh, same thing with neem oil, okay? Um, so I'm going to show you how to mix it here. I'm using a two-gallon pump sprayer. If you got it's, this is going to be the the per gallon is what I'm going to show you. So basically, what we're going to mix here on on this particular brand here, um, it's two and a half tablespoons. To make a one percent uh, concentration, you're going to mix two and a half tablespoons of the neem oil to uh, one and or it says two thirds to one and one third teaspoon of uh, soap. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I filled mine up to the two gallon mark here, uh, and I already have a measuring cup here for my two and a half uh, tablespoons. So. Almost got the wrong one there. 
Now, like I said, this stuff is very, very thick. But what you should do before you open it, and it'll, it'll liquefy it more, is shake it. Because when I first opened, opened this, it was like pudding in the inside. And I said, how am I going to get this out of here? But if you shake it, it'll thin it right out. Okay, now it's more liquidy. All right, so there's two and a half tablespoons there. Now I got two gallons. I'm going to do that twice. And I just made a mess here. We'll clean that up later. And then I got this for my teaspoon. Actually, I'm going to use a tablespoon. I, I like it a little more concentrated. Or, I'm sorry, a little stronger, I should say. All right. So, now, since neem oil is an oil, of course, you need an emulsifier, which is what the soap is. And by the way, use this soap here. Okay, it's Dr. Bronner's uh, sal soap, or sal suds, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a more natural type soap. But you could use dishwashing soap too. Now, as you know, soap and oil will be able to mix, so that's why you use the soap. And not only that, the soap also kills um, the insects also when they're sprayed directly. Okay, so after you uh, put the mixture in there, you want to mix it really good. And now we're ready to spray. All right, now we're going to start spraying our potatoes. Pump this up. Now, when you're spraying your plants, don't just get the tops of the leaves. Try and get underneath too, because that's where the uh, that's where the beetle likes to lay their larvae, their eggs. Uh, they're underneath and they're yellow. Okay, so uh, make sure you spray underneath and over uh, the top of the leaves. Uh, also, uh, if it rains, uh, you might want to after the leaves dry, of course, get back out there and spray them again. You probably want to do this uh, two to three times a week. So it's really not that bad. And this will control the uh, potato beetles. And it will not harm, you, harm your plants, uh, nor is it toxic to uh, animals or any of that stuff. Also, as you're spraying, depending of course how many plants you have, I had quite a few here. Um, as you're going, give it a shake. Make sure all the, the neem oil and the soap is, you know, really mixed up well and not floating at the top. And this is just about done. And again, just make sure you get the underside of the leaf. And again, after, do this two or three times a week. Uh, and especially after a rain, of course, because it'll end up washing it off. Um, but go through your potatoes and physically remove whatever you see. Any bug that shouldn't be on there, any caterpillar, uh, beetle, larva, whatever it may be, remove it um, and kill it if possible. Um, so, and the nice thing about this is you can use this on all your vegetables, all the leaves, everything. 
uh, which is great. And like I said, it's good for uh, organic gardening, uh, even your leafy greens, you know, uh, because it's really not toxic. Uh, and just make sure you wash your leafy greens, you know, very, real good, and you'll be fine. Uh, remember, neem oil is a natural tree product, and um, and that's what's nice about it. You can use it for organic gardening. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you.